Hello everyone and welcome back to Guild Wars 1 Nightfall. We're technically done with Nightfall, but yet not done at the same time. Oh, so I completely spaced on something. We were at the Chantry Secret, right? Quite a few people here, actually. Despite the fact that there was 18 more achievements. I forgot to go down here and talk to these guys. Got to unlock the Master Whispers while I was here. So I went right past them all and into the domain of anguish. So, go to here from the master. We began to worry about safety. Now we can know the order of whispers safe. We can begin to make plans to safeguard the future of all Rilana. Evil never sleeps. So, master whispers. What are we going to do with the master whispers? We could go curses or we could just go minion mancer. Where is minion mancer? Minion, Mancer, Necromancer, Standard. There we go. Trying, trying, yeah. Um. There we go. And then there's. I think, where is this thing? Hello, Fair Master, Fader of the Order of Whispers, and each of help we have to vote our lives to protect the land and its people from the myths to cover threats, including the Abaddon. Abaddon. Well, so, what we know of the God's Secrets comes from one of his creatures that we captured at great cost nearly a hundred years ago. We interrogated this Titan. They captured a Titan, pal, and interrogated it. Learning would no longer aid us, sealed him away into. During the recent storms, a great commotion was heard around that tomb. We need someone to go check on his tomb. When something has happened, we are in even more danger than we thought. By the way, this is also stupid. The careful for demons appearing more frequently and maybe seeking to free the Titan. If he had escaped, there was no telling how dangerous there could be. Can you guess what the tomb is? I'll give you a hint. Well, it says to high bluffs. So. Yeah, as I said, this was a bit stupid. Just a bit. Got to give Master Whispers the stick. Not that everybody needs the stick, but you know. It, uh, it gives him at least energy. It's not very really actually useful for him. But it's not like he's very really using it to be effective. Let's face it. Not using his stick for the damage it does. Anyway, that was nice very clean entry. Boop. Ah, I should really get rid of all this stupid stuff, shouldn't I? And yeah, I'm not going let's face it, I'm not going to use these shards. I'm just not. Okay, so yeah, we've got Master of Whispers yet. Yeah, I don't think he even shows up here at the this place. Yeah, he doesn't. So if she told us Master Whispers, nope, you won't have gotten any side quests back here. Unfortunate, that. Anyway, uh, let's see. So yeah, we gained, what, a rare material trade with that? Yeah, I don't understand that. Remember, hey! We need a rail material trader, so we're gonna have costs like go recruit one from the court sales. But we already had a rail material trader. I don't understand some of the <laughs> command post things. Anyway, let's go look at runes, shall we? Runes. So what we have for runes? Okay. Undertakers. Eh, it's not bad, it's bad, eh, not bad. It's not Tormentors, though. We had Tormentors, though. How's Attunement, though? Attunement. Eh, well, let's see. It depends if we get this thing salvaged, right? Oh, it didn't break. Okay, well, in that case, Attunement. And Radiant. 
I'm not, going, I'm not sure if I want to give him all the stuff because I don't have that much gold on me right now, but I guess I could upgrade him with his stuff. Uh, let's see what we need. Necromancer, superior death. Yeah, I don't have the gold. Well, that's unfortunate. Undertakers. No, he needs many mancers. I have undertakers, don't I? Undertakers, undertakers, undertakers. Oh, he needs bloodstain first, too. Bloodstain, like, um, yeah, on one side. Because it doesn't stack, though. Okay, so undertakers. Boop. Pay now he has gold. Convenient that. Eww. Superior death magic. Boop. Oh, many mantras are expensive. I oh, should. I didn't really think they were that expensive. Anyway, superior death magic. Boop. Bloodstain. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, minor win prayers. Storm managers, I'm probably gonna sell, but what is minor win prayers? Minor earth prayers, minor wind prayers. I don't understand why there's no minor mysticism, scythe mastery. Why are those just sold out? Oh, well, it's not Windwalker, so meh. We'll just salvage it for tormentors. Sorry, so that's more expensive than it should be, in my opinion. Okay, how about minor leadership? Nah, it's not that expensive. Survivor, though, survivors. Eh, not, not as expensive as it used to be. How radiant it feels like it went down a bit too. Long over two meant. Oh my. Well, that's something I haven't seen in a, a long time. Okay, I'm pretty sure the last we checked this was like, what, 8k? And this was like 11 or so? Maybe this was 8? And this was still higher than that. Why do figures pop down to 1k? I almost want to go take out a chunk and buy minor figures at that price. Because that is probably the lowest I've seen that in a long time. Spare Viger went down 10 thousand too but holy crap that is that's surprising okay um so tormentors <laughs> and then we go back and buy many masters one two three four okay Trying to think what else. What is next on the list? Oh, he needs the things for his arms, doesn't he? Which is. Oh, oh shit. Oops, we bought one extra that we didn't need. My bad. Okay. Things for arms, which is what casters use. Remove days, right? Days. Right, did I give him a oh, minor energy sword? Minor. Right. Minor. Okay, well, he would have minor soul. Yeah, minor soul reaping, wouldn't he? Okay, well, minor soul reaping is not as expensive as I thought it would be. Oh, so I'm gonna complain about this too. Where is the minor runes? <laughs> Where is the minor runes for blood and curses? Like, I'm pretty sure you're not using the minor runes for blood and curses, so why are they not there? At least I don't think you are. Question mark. Okay, I think I forgot to buy the thing, though. Uh, shit, which one was it? Not that one, that one's more for warriors. Parody Spiff, whatever. Restoration, recovery. It's cheap. For, you know, being actually probably more effective than most of those. I don't know why that one's so expensive. Like, Clarity, Blind and Weakness. Which is actually, well, if you're a melee one, yeah, it's, that's why I use on melee ones. Because Blind and Weakness are very judgmental against that. But, 
days? Days is really a problem for spellcasters. So yeah. Huh. Still, I can't believe my device is that cheap, man. I want it. Okay. Actual material trader. Do, 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 do. Boop. Boop. Right. I think we have enough for now. Boop. 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 Okay. All those bones. Bones are expensive. I just want to say, hey, we might actually get up to, you know, enough for... Uh, minor leadership and supply, right? Right. I'm not sure which one would be more expensive, so... I just salvage both, if I could sell them for, what, at least a bit. Okay, well, I don't need these. Take him spies, shards, miss you. Okay, well, that takes care of that. Okay, so now we're headed to Hyperlapse. Can you guess where the tomb's gonna be? Like, where would the tomb be? I don't see anywhere that looks like it would have a titan in a tomb. This is stupid, by the way. <laughs> so, by the way, the monument to Palo Ajoko. Apparently, the monument to Palo Ajoko is actually Silo Prolam's tomb. I know, right? The tomb was in breach. Has it, though? We were here in tombs. The rest of the zone is destroyed. Oh no. We need to go tell them. Yeah, I'll get right on that. But first I want to do something. Something that's not necessary. Something that I don't need to do. It's probably just wasting time. But I want to go down to... Downhill. To this area. Again. Because I said I would after we finish Nightfall. And we finish Nightfall. Because one of my favorite things about Nightfall is the fact that the NPCs address the situation, what's going on, and we finish the game. So yeah, that was that. Oh hey, it's our good friend Lag Spike. Hi Lag Spike. Fine, let me move. No, Lag Spike does want to let me move. Unfortunate that. Do 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 do. Oh, well, that was. So we can't really lose the trade. Okay? That's a bit loud. Eh, Undertaker's. Eh, not terrible. We already found out that's worth a decent. Uh, well, a bit. Anyway, now we just head down. Ow.
I may actually also do a bonus video after this. Just cause. Something that I wanted to show off, but I didn't show off yet, so. Yeah, I think I'll do that as a bonus. I also want to point out, the very first that these NPCs should have had quest. The military was taking away our children and sent them to fight the Sunspills. If it wasn't for the military, we would still have enough men to protect the fields. Hi. <laughs> yeah, the fields are full of bugs. Plants that bite. Actually, the bugs bite too. They've never conscripted from the farm villages before. Showing can be talk of those sounds better, so I might as matters worse. Then I feel like we should have done this before. We need to do something quickly before the fields are devoured. We don't have enough manpower anymore thanks to Belgian military needs. If we don't make a quota, we'll end up like Ron Jark. Bow scares me. It's dead though. Yeah, very feels like we should have done this before. We don't end up like Roger, but what we need to do is clear the fields before those monsters destroy the harvest. I said we find out where the Syrian spirits are hiding. Turn them in! I feel like that should be a quest. So we use our heroic nature, let them replace the men for conscripted. Take it from the commotion around the garrison that you freed your comrade. So we should have got this. No, this. Cr we, we've been healed after we saved cost, right? Gorn lost his combat price, and now it's going to skip even more young men. And with the harvest coming, we need all our hands to protect our crops and predators. Now, thanks to Gorn's conscription, we won't be able to protect the field, which will bring even more reprisals when we mess with protests. This is not Roger. We don't appreciate your presence. <laughs> Why don't we turn you in? Simple fail. If we turn you in first, we think we were helping you from the beginning. These you can do is minimize the damage done. Protect our horse from predators. A prescription for a conscription. <laughs> so, protect the fears. Do not let them be overrun. You have six groups remaining. Uh, I was going to say, what am I doing? <laughs> Apparently, we're defending against bugs. Which is okay. I can do that. I guess. I don't really feel good, but it's not very good. Are they all just going to come from you? I think they're all just going to come from you. The problem is we have four minutes to wait for them to slowly get over. You have two. Oh, I thought we had six groups. But now we're down to two. Maybe they're coming. Oh, maybe they are coming at two groups at a time. Yeah, I think they are coming at two. Let's match each other. Just make sure you don't match them. Yeah, I completely forgot about this. No, I can't do I think it's like the whole how oh, there's that one crest or two in Ghidorah that I probably haven't ever done because yeah. I don't go back I don't really look around Ghidorah that much. Hey, I did the thing. 
Thank you, you fought bravely and have won many hearts and minds this day. Perhaps you too do care about what happens to this land. If I wish to be left alone, perhaps one day Connor will be at peace with the sun's hopes. Until then, you have to be content with her silence and our gratitude. Yeah, maybe someday, but yeah. We also do want to loan her to Palo Joko. Can't forget that. Can't forget that. So anyway, time go across the Elon? Yeah, I think it's the river. I'll go across the river. But yeah, one of the only, some of the only friendly soldiers in the game. <laughs> the turn of a new day, I wonder if it brings peace or just a no war. Sounds like a forgiving sort, aren't they, I hope? The has gone and a long nightmare was over. Thank the flat, I mean, Sid's gone. As I were going to standing food now. Shire, what do you think? We had dinner twice. Glad the monster's gone. I can eat all I want. You ever be a pagoda Yes, I have. They says we don't have to give away our food anymore. We can have my asparagus. Glad the day came home from fighting. Mommy doesn't cry as much anymore. They says we don't have to give away our food. Oh no, asparagus again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can't. But still, you dig around but find nothing here. Unfortunate that. But yeah. So, now then, we have the Master of Whispers. Time to actually go do his stuff. Because, there's the thing. We still need to go turn in this Nightfall book. The problem is we're missing two entries. So, we need to get those two entries done. Also, by the way, probably who we're going to turn it into is Light. Light Bringers, because, yeah, we need a hard mode for probably to advance that. Anyway, hi. Uh, I was going to say, I don't know what the, unless it's Motor, though. Motor, is it you who has that stuff? That's another new hero far from home. Aspens. Come a long way from the massacre of Gandara. Pony reports the Patrick Gavings and a new batch of officers to hear stats, but now it seems like it's time for you. Since first I leave corner, good luck crossing over into Fabby, though. The past is guarded by one of Fabby's demons. In order to get through to Fabby, you have to enter the river base and head for the water war to take out that demon. Keep your feet in the drivers are weakened by shutting off the water pumps. By the way, your bonuses don't shut off the water pumps. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're ready to kill this. Take you to the, and the master to the war where so you may attempt to defeat the drought. This isn't that hard. Except for finding the drought without the water pumps turned off. Yeah, it's a bit painful. But we have pain for it. So yeah. Whenever you take off damage, the damage increases by fifty percent. Charge the power and we must do everything we can to weaken it before we attempt to attack it. About that. We must move quickly. The power of the drought grows stronger with each passing moment. The engine knows how to access the waterworks. I have convinced her to lead us inside. Once we move in, we will be off. Come, sons, for us all show the way. We must be careful. This area is well guarded. Phones are very well, as well as the drought's minions. Also, drakes. 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 Oh god, this back is still running ahead like an idiot. that girl but now she's gonna keep running like an idiot. So let's just stay with her. Thanks she stopped a second there for the last catch up. 
Which was nice of her, I guess. Also, a bunch more coins and less crocs than I wore. There was actually more crocs here. Hey, that was a lot. Yeah, bring the Spirit please. It's not the worst thing for the fusion skips. I mean... You might think, hey, you can probably use that on something that's attacked. But it's a pretty good piece of kills and protects, but you're all skipped, so... So it's not the worst idea. Selling them. Well, no, his stuff is at such thing as it. Yeah. So his place going so oh, pretty good. I thought his minions were going to be a bit low because of his level, but now they're where they should be. So we tried to show off as many water pumps as we can. By the way, don't show off the water pumps. The drought is placing a channel on the pumps. As long as the drought leans or corners are near the pumps, we won't be able to turn them off. We don't, aren't going to turn them off anyway. Yeah. Good luck, Sounds Fair. Move forth from free that you learn from this play. That but yeah, it's significantly easier compared to what we were doing with in the realm of the I mean, I don't know if also engineered, which they're just described. But yeah, like there's water pumps. Uh, let's see, over here, over here, over here, over here, over there. There's like five. And once again, you don't need to deal with it. You good? The phone says no. Don't do that. Stupid game, I can't just do that for us. Also, there was an angel of the whispers hill. I oh, yeah, the whispers. Stop who goes though. Agent of the order, step outside and grab his passage. My power smash, I identified you to be charming with sun spells. That's us. Quickly pass through before the guards see you. So yeah, we just sort of keep going. And those drought lanes over there. Oh, we don't need to bother them. We just need to keep going. This group though, we have to bother them. Sadly. <laughs> Do not be alarmed, I am of the order. The drought lies behind the doors, up these stairs. We want the reservoir broom to corrupt its bond to the drought. Uh, we have 
watch you through our pathway for him to come up here and open the door, by the way. Unfortunate that. Whispers, you're too late. I will consume the one. Three restraints. I suppose we should purge this abomination from our lands. So, by the way. I don't want to, you know, deal with this as soon as possible. Just cause. I probably shouldn't be fighting these groups and the drought. <laughs> okay, now we can do some damage. I was like, why is that one still alive? Oh, cause it's on armor and main armor. Are you good to collect that or don't? Instead, yeah, there's the drought. High drought. Pain in her. <laughs> the, uh, what sucks though is you have to take out those helpers still. Yeah, I know, right? That was good use of sandstorm. Otherwise, we won practically now. <laughs> we could have lost, actually. But yeah. What is that? A friend of the drought, mourning its passage. We're trapped in here. Don't be too sure of that. Never walk into a room unless you're sure you can walk out. Which means? It means that there was a smuggler's hideout back here. An old Corsair friend told me about it. Boop. 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 There. This should take us all the way north to Vabi. Let's move. So yeah, if you didn't do the whole fresh green corn and everything. What is your Someone problem, Howl? The drought is dead. I can feel it in my bones. The drought? Then there are sun spears in the waterworks. Go kill them. Kill them now. All in good time, mortal. We have them trapped. What are you waiting for? You misunderstand, little mortal. You are not my master. You are charged to help me hunt these sun spears. You will do as I say. I answer to my Lord Abaddon. I answer to War Marshal Farish. I do not answer to you. Are we clear? I am Varish's general. You should respect me. Varish does not need generals anymore. She needs us. Do not make her choose. We are partners at best, until all your sun spears are slain. And then? Then, we will renegotiate. I know where these sun spears are going. Follow me. Bam. Bow. For the entire time, he, he looks like a warrior, doesn't he? I mean, he's using a sword and shield. And then all of a sudden he's a monk. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Why is he a monk boss? But yeah, we made it over here. Woo. And he leveled up. Boop. Oh, so identify. So, now we go back to the Chantry Secrets and tell to him about that one thing. I forgot if there was a follow-up. There probably is. There definitely is a follow-up. Why are there so many people here? Just staying around. Not doing the... Underworld for some reason. But if you're not worried that this is... 
Senator for Grace, here I have gone mad. One more series of Amazon has escaped. This is grim news. We will need to amass a force. We have been watching you for some time. Do I turn on the grass? Yes, I do. Some word of the flying to the spirits, and they wish I could give you this. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do a master crash right now. Okay. So, there was that take go. Now let's go do Nargu's things for a bit. Well, let's go do. Okay. Let's go get Nargu. Oh, shit, I forgot about this. You're here to sign a contract for Nargu's play? Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing Nargu's nightfall. I just hope it's not another play about food. I forgot about this too. Classic retrained after. Defect will leave the list in full acting troop. No, there's a boisterous glad. Hanley, who never met a buffet tape who he didn't like. Well played, friends. Well played. I am a member of Nogger's acting troop. The infamous list in full. Nogger's recently completed his magnum opus, Nogger's Nightfall. Basically, you only get this quest after you finish Nightfall. Same with Goran, so. Let's the troop together to form a former for the Academy in consideration. Hope you win this award. We'll be the most celebrated entertainers of Abbey, nay, the entire world. It would make a great deal to us, especially in order to uh, view the original cast and crew, could attend the performance at the Grand Forum of Abbey. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm going to kick Sir Vader and put Goran back for a while. For a while, we can use Goran. Besides, we need Goran for this quest. Character of Goran. You need to get the sparkling rock back to your large friend. There have been complaints that suddenly killed cannot and will not hold such a powerful and potentially lethal object. Furthermore, your friend is banned for eternity for any of the services of the suddenly killed or its associates. Please take the sparkling rock back for him. You have to hide somewhere else. So, Vasco Gore no longer has access to the sunlight chest. Wait, does that mean? Wait, that doesn't make sense, because that means basically all of our stuff's going to be trapped inside the chest and can't add so if... Huh. Well, that's unfortunate for Gorin. Oh, well, so we need to go over here to Dash of Vestibule. Why? Because where else is he going to put a shiny rock? I mean, the smartest place would be to put it inside the vault, right? Hey, there's Gorin Sparkling Rock. I sparkling rock. Oh god, it's a crack. There we go, this is the first place to hide shot. Not too cold, not too dark, right? Uh oh, this is no good. Something came out shiny. Something bad. And now it's going to be hurt. It just called me mommy. I'm a mom. Who would have thought? I guess it must take help. It's my responsibility now, isn't it? Think I'll call it shiny. After my rock. By the way, did anyone see where my rock went? Goran is my mommy. I'm going to live in a hidden city. Goran is my mommy. I'm hungry. Feed me, Goran. And you know what sucks? Now we're never going to see it again. Because we're just going to go and leave it here alone. With all those gin. But yeah, it's just basically it's a salt spray dragon that just lives there now. So Rock was an uber powerful dragon egg. That's fine if we could not hold it. So origin of incendiary beasts against statue through one zone of the Captain Manager of Fire Code. Don't look at me like that. You can visit the Center and read the code of person. The big elf is a dang now. How cute. Where's the rest of the stuff he had in storage account? Is it? I thought he had armor and weapon. That's gold. Sure. Okay. So anyway, oh, we need Norgu. But before we go Norgu, let's go back here and do the actual mission we need to do. Before we do Prince Bonkers, Norgu stuff. I forget if there's other quest tale. That might be that require Master Whispers. Oh. Tempting, but. Uh, maybe not. Well, I'm just here to defend the Citadel. I forgot to read the mission thing. Oh well, my bad, my bad. So, defeat the Morganite generals before the force takes the Citadel. Reserve the perimeter of my force, aid you in the battle. 
It's basically your bonuses don't let the bombards get destroyed. Anyway, here's what, we, what we're going to do. You guard east, you guard center. Sadly, it's just about the same groups each one, so it doesn't really matter where we send them. Just so long as I can't remember which order they go in. Shit. But I keep the defenses alive and you'll be fine. Then press that. Basically, we're waiting for the generals to show up. This mission isn't hard, it's just a lot of going back and forth. And all the timing. I don't even have the timing. Yeah, you basically just want to make sure you can have sight of rage. The problem though is we don't have sight of rage for all areas. Because we can only really see like three at a time. And we need to be able to see four. Cut. Hey look, we can see this group here. That's bad. So we go over here and... Let's go. Playing a group and game card, then you want to immediately start moving. Like for example, to this side, because you can't see that they're attacking over there. So you don't want to stay and fight. You just want to make sure you're getting stuff out of the way. Most groups aren't too bad for the defenses. Just some of them is going to have head to it. Just keep moving. That's like the best advice I have for this. It's just keep moving constantly. Don't move. Just keep getting moving. Okay. Do you move again? Okay, now for the Von Porsche part. They spawned. We have not enough time to actually do this. We have to basically immediately get started. So we spawn. So we want to immediately get there to deal with the general. He's not dead yet. Deal with the general. He's not dead. Why is he not dead? Oh, now the Von Porsche spawned. He can't be fighting him. That's the problem. We have to be faster. Oh, I found this jump hard. Thankfully, minions are actually probably the best thing because they help. All right. Thankfully, most of them are holding them up for now. We're heading this way, so we're going to totally flip east. Oh shit, east is that way over there. Fuck, I thought, I thought you guys killed them. You guys got them. This bump part's fine. Why are you lying to me? Yeah, I don't know where they are. This one's gonna suck because freaking. Yeah, that. Please don't faster. Not dead. Kill me. Okay. Immediately power place. Don't worry about the groups. Head to the west. Head to the west. To the west. To the west. Oh shit, the west is going to fall. Fuck. That is not good. West. West. Stop. Stop west. Bad west. What do we lose? 
Sets our search defenses and left the path. I guess those guards don't matter. Gates. Gates are there. Bombards are there. Okay, while we're here, though, let's head up hill. So this guy. Not the hardest one, it's just a lot more having to be focused on defending. Making sure that one's fine. Sure we have them on the run. It'll be months before they can muster a credible threat. Down. Perhaps now you can help us against Varish, Prince. If Varish has been conspiring with demons, she is my enemy. She will pay. See what I mean? Straight up kind of guy. No secrets at all. We missed all this dialogue, by the way, that led up to this. Jura. Pardon? Jura. He asked my real name. It is Jura. I feel I can trust you with it. Jura. Nice name. See? Was that so hard? And then caused the? tentacles to appeal. What is that? It is a demonic manifestation, a part of Abaddon's realm pushing into the living world. What does that mean? It means we are too late. Nightfall has come to Alona. Oh no. But yeah, we got the fact. Huzzah. So anyway, and now I'm just going to... Oh, I could get rid of you, actually. And now I need Norgu. Norgu, Norgu, Norgu. Uh, let's see. Norgu, I don't even know what to do for you, really. I was why I'm... Yeah, sadly, I don't have a good Mesmer thing, really. Like, at best, I have my Mesmer stand, which isn't that good. It's not a sap. It's not terrible in my opinion, it just doesn't really work that well, <laughs> to be fair. It's not that good. It's a lot of interrupting and... yeah. I could probably have some fun with that one, but meh. Anyway, it's it's whatever. It's not the best. So no night fall bad to think. We're actually now done with the story. I'll get to turning that in when we'll You know what? F it. I would do Prince Parker's thing, but I'm not gonna get I now trade contracts. Sad. So let's manage my inventory and then we'll head out to Norfu's Nightfall. And probably call it. This video. And probably the series. Yay. So, as for Guild Wars 2, I'm. Mm, not entirely sure when I'm gonna get around to it. Probably won't be until. Well, 
probably won't be for a while. Depend I'm not entirely sure when this will get uploaded in comparison to when they will get started. Because basically we're on the twenty third of August, which I'm not sure when this will be uploaded in accordance to that. Uh Guild Wars 2 is having a bounce update because they screwed up a lot of things when they decided, hey, we're gonna buff these classes and make them too powerful while nerfing everyone else. Now they need to try to bounce things out, and it's not really gonna help that much. Cause some of the bounce things don't really make sense to me. It's like, so we're gonna change the damage overallness from like 0 0.8 to 0 0.9. We're going to change the damage multiplier by that much. How much damage does that actually increase? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it really changes much in my opinion, but... Calculating that shit is beyond me. Oh god, I might actually... I might actually have enough... Sh no, I think we went over it. I think we went over it. I was going to say... Did I seriously make enough to reach sit sit sit? I think we went one over it. Ah well. Alright, so you. Yeah. Just one over it. Shame about that. Anyway, now to do something. Well, I have all this money, right? Uh, so where's the spell slot? Freaking miniatures that aren't even dedicated. That, I don't even know why I have. I just found it. It's not that great. It's that decent hammer. Don't use hammers, though. I guess I could put it in here with that. Now. I uh, really need more bank tabs. Yeah, what sucks though is Guild Wars 1 doesn't have like Guild Wars 2 system wheel. Basically, oh, I have all this gold. Can't I change all this gold to a, or, you know, to a currency so I could buy tabs and other stuff? Nope, you have to spend actual money for Guild Wars 1, which is lame. Guild Wars 2? Yeah, sure, you could, you know, spend the money. Or you could actually just make the money, which is convenient, because, yeah. Thing is, it's only about making like a hundred gold a day is about the same as making maybe, what, five dollars a day, technically, in terms of trade-in value. So it's not really that much worth, but still trading gems for gold is still not that great either, though. So, eh. It works out in my opinion. Anyway. So I'm wondering if I could ruin since there are s oh jeez, that one dropped a bit more. That one went back up. Okay, I want to withdraw I don't want to withdraw sixty, but let's withdraw at least uh fifty. Okay. Oh god, it dropped even more. Oop, now it went back up because you spent more. I forgot they don't stack, though. Well, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. I'm like, oh. Oh, right, they don't stack. Well, I guess everyone's getting minor fire groups. Everyone's getting minor fire runes. Everyone's getting minor fire runes. How you're getting minor fire runes. And you're getting minor fire runes. And you are not getting minor fire runes. Alright, let's drop everyone. Okay.
Jorah, did I actually increase your stuff? Yes, I did. You're getting minor fire room. Koss, you're getting minor fire room. Surveyor, you're getting minor fire room. Martyr the Sly, you're getting. You're not getting anything. Lord Trader, you're getting minor fire room. Tavkar, you're getting minor fire room. Ogden, you're getting minor fire room. Elias, your gang, minor fire. Live here, your gang, minor fire. Duchess Pedro, your gang, minor fire. Yeah, I mean, this here is a string waste of my gold. But, sure, why not? Minor fire. When you didn't get upgrades anyway, so man. Back, you're getting minor fire. You're getting minor fire. Um, Milani. Mott. Kamu. You're getting. Oh. I was going to say you're getting that, but I didn't really do anything with you, because. Oh yeah, dervish things are expensive as shit, that's why. <laughs> eh. And that leaves us with two minor fire rooms that I'm just going to toss them out. And I have like literally no inventory space. Shit. Unfortunate. Probably should get rid of some of these perfect salvage kits, <laughs> maybe. Eh, ah well. Two minor vodka rooms. And then toss the 30 back. So we spent about 30. Or 20. About 20. So yeah. Okay, not bad. So, from those now we need. Well, we need at least Nargu. And, well, no kick Nargu. We can leave him at the bottom. Okay. Let's bring down Karo. Let's bring Darth Vader. Oh, let's bring Gore. And let's bring. Uh, can't bring you. Okay. Dark Lord, but. Yeah, I don't need Master Whispers anymore. Uh, let's see. Zed. You. And lastly, Dark Okay. Because, yeah, I could do Dark Quest over Pale. Which, yeah, that's a thing, but, meh. I think I've done enough. Yeah, all those fire rooms. We didn't need to do that. That's just a waste of trying trying out to go, to be honest. It's like, literally, what... Yeah, I probably didn't need it. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll get the 20,000 back eventually when I do the. when I decide to make another character and do such again. Problem though is. Oh god. I just realized something. If I make another character, I'd have to delete a character. And. this character is most likely to be deleted. And we just spent 20,000 on all those rooms. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> Oh well. Waste. Don't worry. No good night wall. We have hero. My fellows have been simply consideration a life support. My ultimate performance. No good night. Elope. Land of the Golden Sun. A land of heroes. 
Our sword gets in hell danger. Dark eyes. Bring with him the knife. I mean, let's help fight the knife out, but first we must find here is even more brave and heroic than we are. When will we find such a hero? No, don't need to search. I true hero will well, trouble, right? Eh? I am no the hero you need to stop Abaddon and the Nightfall. What should we do, Norwood? We must attack the Parish, or she will end the world. Our great hero is ready to go out, but the plan to go out. There are some demons that gather the Parish. Ha ha ha, I will kill those sand bears. As soon as I can find them. Luckily, I found this sanctuary for us. Bears would never find us now. Oh go. You are so brave. We should kill North and Babby. Even though it's more like to North and East. But the way to Babby. Oh no, our way to Babby is blocked. Aha, my course of friends are going to be. They have smuggled smashed to the north to my home of Babby. But I am a famous actor. I think I have a few princes. By the princes in Orr, that would have to be. I was going to be used to the middle of the ice and the ship sends me. I was going to be able to go to the ship sends me. Great. Poor friend. Sorry, the brave, 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 for he today who shares his blood with me shall be forever remembered with you on Nightfall Day. No good and great, 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 and it is by heaven. Ah, I am for slave. Oh god, he actually died and became a corpse that we could animate. That's creepy. Yet forever every nightfall comes the dawn of a new day. He loves the planet. Let us dance. Oh god, man, man. Oh god. So yeah, you go to tell us about that guy who died. <laughs> anyway, we go back to the Codish Bazaar. Uh. So basically one of Norco's quest is helping um, Boker come up with a new play. Which basically the goes out to the play manager and he sends you to go find a script. Which is basically uh, springtime for Barish. Which is basically a reference to springtime for Hitler, I believe. That was a play. But then he changes the field line to be springtime for Barker. It becomes his play. Yeah. References. I want to keep track of the great writings of Babby and man, the lesser ones. This year's nominees for Grace Play and Babby are indeed the whole world. Indeed, the whole world or Lord of the Strings. Oh, it's summertime. I thought it was springtime. Mm, my bad. Summertime for Baka, Norgus Nightfall, and Drake's on a Plane. Storing costs. That was super nominated. Please attend the Academy of Ward Salmoni and Splinter McCoon. Problem is, now I have to go all the way over there anyway, so. Shrug. Yeah, this quest has a lot more build up to it than, you know, Gord's quest, which was just take egg to vault area. What the hell do you want? 
Um, no. <laughs> Difficulty master request for Gorin. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, so here's the thing. We're gonna do a bonus thing after this, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work with the fact that if I lag, yeah, it screws everything up. I have like an hour and something left in my upload, so, huh. Anyway, now we go over here to the Entertainment Academy Award Show. Woo. But yeah, I could go grab Arcus Quest, but yeah, I, I think we've done enough. I think we've done enough. Alright, after this I need to go back to the Chantry Secrets, read the book, the entries, and then turn that in. Before we end this video, right. But yeah. Actually completed Guild Wars One. I know, right? I didn't think we were good. gonna get back to it for a while though. It's like, uh, it's like, here's the thing. Oh, uh, when was it? Was it 2011 or 2012 when I started the Guild Wars One Let's Play, the first one, the one that Bro and I were working on together. The problem though is Bro and I couldn't really have done the whole thing because she only had Prophecies and Nightfall, so yeah. We finished Prophecies. Uh, and then I was going to do Factions, and the problem though is, yeah, like I didn't really get all the way through Factions and then I sort of abandoned it and never got back to it. Probably because that character I ended up deleting and other stuff, yeah, unfortunately. I think I also made like a Dervish hero and ended up deleting that Dervish hero and all sorts of things. Yeah. But then coming back here and actually recording this, like, it was fun. But then, yeah, the problem though is Guild Wars 1 is one of those games you can't really do in a full. Like, you can't, you really shouldn't do all the campaigns at once. You should sort of space yourself. Because, like, we did Prophecies, I the North technically, and then Factions. And, oh god. After Factions, I was burnt out hard in Guild Wars 1. Like, I, I couldn't do Nightfall. So, yeah, we took, like, practically a year from doing such. I meant to get back to this. It's just... I had so much other stuff to do. I still have quite a few things in the backlog. I, I want to get Witcher 3 done at some point, but I also need to get Kingdoms of Amalur progressing, and my plans for Guild Wars 2 now. <sighs> yeah. We'll get... Hopefully we'll get some stuff progressed eventually. But anyway. No important stuff. We had many wonderful nominees this year. However, one stood on particular the greatest play in Fabian and indeed the whole world award. Without further ado, the award for greatest play in Fabian and indeed the whole world goes to. I mean, who else is going to go to? Nagu's Nightfall. Yay, we did it. Will the players please come up and accept their award? We're the players. Well, we are a player, so... Here's your award. Prince Barker wanted to see you. I okay, now I have to go see him anyway. <laughs> like, here I am trying to avoid actually going and talking to him. And then the game's like, no, you need to go talk to him. Have you heard the word of the god, Cormiel? 
Watch this everywhere, the sun starts back. Things are worse than ever. Well, I'm glad the world didn't end, but I showed everything in the end of the world, so. You heard the understanding that would help us, right? Once the sun rises again, thanks for bravery. Now can you do something for the monsters on my day? Did you know that I knew Carmen ever before she was gosh? She came to one of my parties once. You two travel babe. Things are so much better now, thank you. Hey, we actually got thanks. I'm surprised too. Yeah, we tried to avoid having to go over here, but the game's like, no, you need to go talk to Prince Blanca. I'm not doing all those alpha quests, though, game. I'm done. I'm free. Oh, yeah, hi, Prince Blanca. Boku. Whatever. Norku do Norku. Many of the buffets devoured by that voracious appetite, and many more that I was consumed by that appetite. Congratulations to you. Indeed, it's a pleasure to even have a world in which to celebrate. And yeah, we could, we could, we could do that, but no, no, we're done. Done. <sighs> anyway, so on that note, I used to think this here was supposed to be a throne. It, it it's not. It's just a fountain. <laughs> it looks like there should be a throne here, doesn't it? But no, he's just standing in front of a fountain. I mean, at least there's comfy seats and pillows. Comfy seats and pillows. But anyway, so, we did it. We finished Nightfall. I'm trying to think if there was anything else to do before we end this foot. Oh. Forgot again! Fuck's sakes. How do I keep doing this? Chant your secrets, read the book, turn in the book. <laughs> Dirt. Uh, anyway. I need a drink before we drink. start this. Because there are 17 things to read over. So, this doesn't count for the whole. Before we arrived at night. Uh, Ilona. But anyway, the Sun Spirit declared war in Kona. Hoping to remove Ferrochasa from power, all able by Sun Spirit traveled on the standing boats to attack and guard the Moon Fortress. Early successes perhaps made us too bold as we rushed into a trap. Many Sun Spirits were lost or captured in the final fray. Which doesn't make sense because there was only like, what, two, three demons? And for some reason we couldn't defeat them. I don't know why. When Pharaoh summoned demons to our side, he was filled more to Cormier was lost and presumed dead. The last we saw of her, she liked life was in the grip of a demon. The survivors got to a rural corner, pouring patrols and seeking sympathy from local villagers. Also the fact that the dra uh the hunger isn't even that great of a demon, like he sort of sucked compared to like half the things required in the realm of torment. Like, not even that great of a fight. After establishing a new Sunsville base of operations in a serious cave behind Rontort Village, which was success in a variety of tactical strikes against the Cornets, he managed to rescue many of our captured comrades. All that remained was to find a way back to his den. At the very least, we need to evacuate the wounded. Cos had the connections to scare a ship, and Rotus had figured out how to disarm the current center traps from some stealth. Found him out fighting, we made it through the coast and course, and Cos had caused their connection. More of the slide. From there, we found a safe passage back to Camden to report to the Stanley Elders. The members of his stand made it clear that they could no longer support us in our struggle and suggested we seek allies among the princes of Abbey. Upon returning to the Sunsburg Sanctuary, we met with an interesting film a centaur named Zed Shadow. He found the secret Sunsfield base and threatened to expose its location unless we promised to help his leader, Mizra Veldrunner. Oh god, he has that crash of giant tusk now, I believe. Ugh. 
With the road to Abbey blocked by Cornet, it seemed a good time to forge new alliances. So we allowed ourselves to be captured with Zed so we could fight our way to out of the Cornet prison camp with Murderer. Despite our reservations that Zed was leading us into a trap, the plan worked perfectly. Not only did we make some new allies, we gave the Cornets a good bloody nose. Mysterious figure named the Master of Whispers offered to show us a secret way into Abbey if we helped him slay a demon. At the same time, Margaret brought part news. Cormor was alive but awaiting execution in Gendor. Margaret was also willing to help us throw a price. I did, had a difficult choice to make. I agreed to go with the Master of Whispers to the Hogwarts where a friendly djinn disguised named Dinja told us about the great hawking demon called the Drought that had been tainting the water of the river Elon. Dinja led us inside, but we had to fight our way through both Corn and Melto and the offspring of the demon. The oil droughtlings, we neutralized the drought, the cleansing, thus cleansing the polluted wars of the Great Lawn. Master Whispers then kept his part of the bargain and opened up a secret passage behind the war where the passage used by these smugglers would allow us to bypass the heavily fortified fortress of Jahai and make our way to Vabi. Now we rest, but soon we will head into the passage in order to find the Prince of Vabi. And do to do to do to do to do at the same time. Margaret Bryan part news, Cormier was alive. Margaret was willing to help us throw at price. I had a difficult choice. I agreed to go with Margaret to rescue Cormier from Ghidorah, but soon found out that Margaret Bryan was procuring a corset row called the Diadem of Lady Glaive. It seriously complicated the matter. After a great deal of trouble and travel, we acquired a map to the fortress vaults and Cormier and army uniforms to use as disguise. We collected the uniforms to allow us. We get inside the fortress and allow us to move about freely. After several close calls, we found both the Diadem and Cormel. Only to be confirmed by two more surprises. Cormel had been blinded by the demon, and Margaret's sister, Shen Hai, also slave her, execution was being held with her. There was no time to worry about Margaret's real motivations, however. As the alarm had been raised, then we had to flee. Luckily, a boat weighed at the end of the docks and we escaped. Morgan paid us back and forth, though, taking us upriver to Kaisis and though he provided us with passage to Vavi. We traveled through the Van Dark Caverns, fighting hidden cursos and other hostile creatures that contributed to the danger and the reputation of the passage all the way. However, with much guidance from Dunco, we made our way to that spot of Vavi almost within reach. Poor Juno Bell and his pet demon, the hunger of hell, blocking the passage. Fatigued by our arduous journey and faced with not only a corner general and a demon, but two units of archers as well. We f oh, yeah, there were archers that weren't them. We fought for our lives, and in the end, we prevailed and made our way out of the dark caverns into the bright canyons of Valley beyond. Unfortunately, carrying General Barrow and fleeing into Valley gave Valley all the skills she needed to send her troops into Valley. And the guys are looking for us. Control of Ilana continues to grow. With the current army pursuing us, we made our way through Vavi, helped by a young priestess of Lissan named Kahani. She told us a part of the Garden of Sebharan. Sebharan. She said for the festival of Liss. All three princes would attend the party, and Kahani promised she could get one of us in the door by Mango and participating in the referees. I endeared myself to all three princes, but they refused to believe that Pharaoh had ulterior motives for helping but moving our forces into Vabi, before, before I could press my case against Ferris, three harpies attacked the party. I joined with the guards to repel the attack. Hopefully my heroics caught the attention of the princes and will help me convince them of the danger of Ferris. I shall try Prince Barker again as he invited us to his palace to see a play being put on in the amphitheater. Hey, by the way, we're now a protector of Ilona too. Tyrus still had more missions. Camper, yeah. Play turned out to be a cover for a corner assassination plot by Ferris to kill Prince Baka. We foiled the attack by was clear to Baka that this was an act of war. He fled to the hidden city of Ardash, which isn't on the first page. Apparently this one is instead. The Prince Asman remained at place to defend the prominence. Once again I need to make a choice. Which prince should I aid? Does Andagon our bastion is fighting for the defense of Fabi's northern border? Is it though? More of its eastern border, in my opinion. 
who decided to help Prince Andrew in the battle for Desango Fast there and members of the Order of Whispers led parties of Admin Guards in defense of the tower against wave after wave of corners and even Morganites fell to his newest minions when the Morganite leaders came forward to join the fight. We decided to strike at the core, removing the four Morganite generals. Turned the tide and the day was ours. I'm for pledge to support our cause, but it might be too late as the my tenders erupted from the land. Nightfall had begun. Play once again. Da, 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 da. I need to make a choice. At this point, Margaret told us all the that the two princes were not safe within the hidden city. Deciding that Andre could defend himself, decided to find the hidden city and help the other two princes. Margaret volunteered to come along. Obviously, he seeks some treasure, power, expertise, and navigate the powers of some traps within the city. Proved invaluable. We reached the princes just in time as their own turn had turned on them. Did they? Did they, though? I'm pretty sure they were attacking us and not the prince. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they, yeah, they, we had to fight our way through the gym to get to the prince. I'm pretty sure they didn't turn on them. Once the princes were safe, we implored them to return to the powers and make a stand against the tyrant powers. I thought they were no longer safe. Now, most secret sanctuary drove the point home to them. But it might have come too late as the demon tenders erupted and nightfall had begun. We met with the three princes to discuss our lines against Ferris, but as we taught a messenger of Alyssa Pale, she brought news that Ferris had attacked on the princess were by distractions. So she might strike her through Targo power resistance. Oh, we had what to say the princess Ferris had taken control of Sevlakak Vascalia, a holy temple to Alyssa, slaughtering all those who studied them, summoning a demon to create portals to Avalon's nightmare realm. Ferris's remaining general, Morgan, Found this had to be more than he could bear and defeated to join a resistance movement. Working together, we defeated the blasphemy demon, but the damage was done. Rifts had begun appearing all over Ilona. As Abaddon's rifts appeared throughout Ilona, some of us wanted to return to Korno to defend Rontrek from the rift demon for hours. Felt we should head to the Golden Sabaton. You mean between Morgan, between Koss and Milani? Clinton? Put, can put them in the story. Drought the demons affecting that place. The choice once again fell to me. We traveled to the Golden Jet to sever him and destroy the harbingers of nightfall, building a stronghold there. With the help of Hinnon, one of the Golden's Horse Callers list, we brought the light of sever him to all the harbingers and killed them with his purity. We may have saved Valley for now, but nightfall had come. Rips all over Terrier, allowing demons to flow into a world. Were thou thou? Which the world fair to escape into the desolation. The Abaddon's rifts appear throughout. I also want to point out the fact that some things don't make sense, like the whole before you even go to Nightfall, Cormier shows up and is like, hey, by the way, this is what you're going to fight. Demons. Pow. <laughs> See, even before we even started the whole story, Cormier was just out there opening rifts to demons. To endanger cities to show us that hey, Nightfall bad, yo. So yeah, it's still Cormor's fault. Sabaton's first appear throughout it alone. Some of us want to return. Yeah, bro. Do 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 do. Oh, don't. Towards the return to. Oh, well, at this point, at least says Milani's people are going to support the Nightfall. Luckily, Everton was repelled. Arrived, he passed out. No, actually, when we arrived, he told us to get the fuck out because Milani's gonna bring about horrible things. We don't want her help. And he passed out fires of purified water used against the Harbinger demons. The water made the demons more more to attack the winds to see him protecting the village from destruction. We then tried the fight to the nearby coin for to destroy the fire in the harbor to battling through hordes of Morganites. We finally emerged victorious, saving Ron Trap and Night Power Congress. First of all, Varus escaped into desolation. The coming nightfall seemed to be weak in the bindings holding an old foe of Alona in prison for generations. Shortly after, Rift opened and set Cormier into the realm of torment. Pilot with Joko popped out and was like, Sup? Bye. <laughs> it's good for Abby. He escaped his prison and fled the area. There's no time to worry about the spirit marshal. We had to follow Varus into the desolation. Pilot with Joko was key. The upper sedge tribe, we tracked down that dead despot and formed a wary alliance with him as he alone knew how to cross the desolation. Our Joker showed us how to tame the great uh, Janandu worms of the desert, which can carry a mortal safely through the waste of deadly sulfurous gas. 
All we had to do was defeat the Queen of the John Dude to gain her respect. A horrible battle gets all my and dead be behind us. We sped across the desolation. In case you know, tr trusting power with Joko, putting him back in power. Best decisions, everyone. Best decisions. I'm sure that won't have negative consequences 250 years from now. <sighs> anyway, we caught with Ferris. On the very spot where the gods do have done down into torment. We found that she had already begun the ritual to summon her Dark Lord. We cannot allow Varys to release Evan from his shackles and bring torment into the world. Forces fell upon her with righteous fury. The battle raged on for what seemed out. It was more like two minutes, maybe four. <laughs> I forget how long. Just as we thought we had destroyed the corner in War Marshal, Varys transformed into something no longer human. Our thought for our own safety, we engage this demonic Ferris. Once again, in the end, Ferris fell, her ritual left incomplete. But the wheels were too far in motion to stop, and the mouth were tormented open beneath our feet, sucking us all into Avalon's realm. Avalon remained shackled, but the door between worlds had been ripped open. This door goes both ways, however. So we now have a way to take the fight to the god himself, and perhaps find Karma, who had been lost in the realm of torment. Oh, jeez, all this reading. Three more. We needed to find some way to weaken Abaddon with the help of the forgotten traps here to watch over the imprisoned god. We set about to do as much good as we could in the hope that. Oh, yeah, by the way, didn't really make sense for me when I first did this for the forgotten to be here. But yeah, there was forgotten here to watch over Abaddon's prison. But yet, aren't the Forgotten supposed to be like the caretakers of Glint? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, it's not really explained on that, exactly. So about to do as much good as we could in the hope that some Maoris or powerful weapon would present itself to us. We found Cormill. Who now entered as our guide. For some reason, we needed her as a guide. I don't know why. As uh, for the Torment Realms, there's to a great river souls, trapped and tormented by Abaddon and his minions. We found her to a dam that stopped the souls from continuing on. By destroying the demons holding the souls captive, we freed them and destroyed the dam. That only greatly weakened Abaddon, but it allowed Dunkur to finally come to grips with the loss of his son. Oh, we were still not strong enough to go up against a god. Us the answer we must join to the temple of the Sits. Gods and pray for their favor. Trip to the temple of the Sits gods were fraught with danger from throughout history. We fought through hordes of demons, titans, and shuriken. We were constantly taunted by two of terror's legendary foes, Shotogashi of Kantha and the Lich Lord of Sunken Ore. We eventually reached the valley filled with portals. Also, I won't exactly consider him a Lich Lord. Like compared to Palo Joko. The Vizor of Lore is I mean the Vizor of Lore. The Vizor of Or is Yeah, he's not that great. I mean he's just basically he's an undead witch. Which, you know, that's basically just a witch. <laughs> that's a bit redundant. Yeah, it's a bit redundant, it's like saying, yeah. I'm trying to think of a good example. Yeah, it's like he's a police officer or a constable. Or he's a... He's a medic doctor. Or what else? I'm trying to think of things that, ba that basically are about the same, <laughs> because, yeah. He's an undead lich, which, to be a lich, you usually technically have to be undead, because you don't stay alive during the process of putting your soul in a phylactery, usually. Anyway, and the fact that well, uh, he doesn't even have a phylactery. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're fine, we're fine.
But still, my point is, he's not that great of a villain compared to Paolo and Joko, who... Yeah, Paolo and Joko can't be killed. That, he has that going for him. That's more of a lich quality than what the undead lich had. We eventually reached the power with the portals, finding more teams in the realms. We had to make quick work of those portals to have any chance of reaching the temple in the distance. It was tight, but we closed the portals and moved on to the temple. So we came face to face with Shiro and the lich. As these unwelcome feelings harried us, we prayed at those statues dedicated to the five true gods with the blessings. Yeah, what blessings? We then turned on Shiro and the lich and, oh, I guess from the bonuses. And defeat them for the last time. The only battle left for us after this was against the Dark God Avatar himself. The gods appeared to us and gave Cormier a special secret blessing and told us, you know, you go have fun. We'll be watching. <laughs> we had hoped for more dreaded foam mail battle against God, but we held our head high and charged the battle for ultimate foe. We fought with all from might. And all for power and passion in the end, the god's gift karma was indeed integral to our victory. At the moment of his death, Abaddon unleashed all of his pent-up power. Nowhere to go, this rogue power would have destroyed both the realm of torment and Tyria. In a moment of heroism unmatched before, or since karma threw herself into the pathless dark power, the gift of the god soaked all that of all that power and knowledge, however, turning karma into a goddess in her own right. I know, right? She stole or what could have been ours. Gomer sacrificed immortal life to save us all and was reborn as the goddess of truth. But ugh. Eldon was dead, but there was still work to do with Gormer's passing. From the mortal realm, the duty falls to me to assist those in need. I fear to lies out there on the road, fighting for justice and for truth. Right. Anyway. That was a lot of reading. Um. Uh, you. Hi, I got book for you. Take that. Thanks. That's a lot of sense. Anyway, I would like a red evidence. I would like a copy of Nightfall's Heart Mode. There we go. <sighs> and our task is. Oof, okay. Now go away. Um, Lord Vader. Oh, yes. Well, actually, I'm not going to eat them anyway. I don't think, anyway. But, yeah. That was it, everyone. We did it. We finished Nightfall. Officially. <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day. And next time, I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm going to do a bonus fail, but yeah, next time probably Guild Wars 2. Maybe. We'll see. So, yeah, 